Now to a deadly shooting in Miami Gardens. A woman shot and killed right outside of a library. Police have a suspect in custody. Local 10 News reporter Leanne Motohong is live at the scene with the latest. Leanne. And that suspect appeared before a bond court judge this morning. This was a shocking crime that took place right outside of this public library. And according to police, the crime was also caught on camera. Good morning, Ms. Small. You were arrested for one count of first degree murder. 64 year old Joyce Small facing a charge of first degree murder after police say she shot a woman outside this public library. I'm shocked. It happened in the parking lot of the Miami Dade Public Library branch in Miami Gardens. Detectives set up a perimeter as people inside the library, including children, were forced to stay inside. It's stupid. It's stupid. I mean, like, you got kids who are scared to come outside. You got adults who are scared to come outside because of senseless shooting. Welcome to Explore Crimes. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. On a seemingly typical Wednesday evening, the calm of the North Dade Regional Library in Miami Gardens was about to be shattered. What began as a quiet day, with locals coming and going, quickly spiraled into an incident that would grip the community and make headlines. Little did anyone know, as the library's clocks ticked towards closing time, that a confrontation was brewing, one that would challenge the peace of this neighborhood sanctuary. Joyce, a woman known in her community for her acts of kindness, had opened her home to Sarai, a homeless woman seeking refuge from the harshness of life on the streets. This act of generosity, however, spiraled into jealousy and rage when Joyce suspected that Sarai had become romantically involved with her boyfriend. Joyce Small was involved in a secretive relationship with a married man whose personal details are unknown. They met in secret and shared promises that made Joyce feel happy, even though she knew he had a wife. Joyce held on to hope that their relationship might turn into something more serious someday. Unfortunately, her deep feelings for him eventually led her to trouble and doubt, changing her life dramatically. Everything began to unravel when Joyce's suspicions escalated into an obsession. She recently started to believe that Sarai, the homeless woman she had taken into her home, was having an affair with her boyfriend, a man who was already married to someone else. Fueled by these suspicions, Joyce began following her boyfriend, only to find him with his wife, not Sarai. Despite this, Joyce couldn't shake her suspicions. She spent her days consumed by thoughts of betrayal, watching and waiting, convinced that Sarai was more than just a house guest, but a rival for her boyfriend's affection. Meanwhile, her boyfriend, caught up in this complicated love triangle, had no clue about the storm of emotions brewing right under his nose. On that fateful day in October 2023, Joyce arrived at the North Dade Regional Library with a heavy heart and a mind clouded by suspicion. She positioned herself behind some bushes, a spot that allowed her a clear view of the parking lot without being seen. Hidden from the view of casual onlookers, Joyce waited for Sarai to appear. Caught on the library's surveillance video, the scene unfolded with chilling clarity. Sarai walked toward her car, unaware of the danger lurking just out of sight. As she approached, Joyce emerged from her hiding spot, confronting Sarai directly. The video captured a tense exchange, with Sarai visibly upset, begging for her life. Despite her pleas, Joyce, driven by deep-seated jealousy and betrayal, raised her handgun and fired several shots. Even after Sarai fell to the ground, Joyce coldly fired one final shot, ensuring there was no chance of survival, before turning and walking away, leaving behind a scene of horror that shocked onlookers. The aftermath was swift and chaotic. Witnesses called the police. Once there, first responders found the victim suffering from what appeared to be multiple gunshot wounds, she was pronounced dead at the scene. She was not identified. Little is known about Sarai background. Now to a deadly shooting in Miami Gardens, a woman shot and killed right outside of a library. Police have a suspect in custody. Local 10 News reporter Leanne Motohong is live at the scene with the latest. Leanne. And that suspect appeared before a bond court judge this morning. This was a shocking crime that took place right outside of this public library. And according to police, the crime was also caught on camera. 
Good morning, Ms. Small. You were arrested for one count of first-degree murder. 64-year-old Joyce Small facing a charge of first-degree murder after police say she shot a woman outside this public library. I'm shot. It happened in the parking lot of the Miami-Dade Public Library branch in Miami Gardens at Northwest 183rd Street and 24th Avenue. Someone was shot and killed. According to the arrest form, Small approached the victim and shot her multiple times, even as she begged for her life. Detectives set up a perimeter as people inside the library, including children, were forced to stay inside. It's stupid. It's stupid. I mean, like, you got kids who are scared to come outside. You got adults who scared to come outside because of senseless shooting. Miami Gardens police took Small into custody and recovered her weapon at the scene. Small told investigators she knew the victim who was homeless and had helped her in the past, but had grown suspicious of her getting involved with her married boyfriend. Police also say that she waived her right to have an attorney present during questioning and decided to speak freely to investigators. At this point, police have not released the identity of the woman who was shot and killed. Joyce was found a short distance from the library. Her demeanor described by officers as strangely calm and detached. Once Joyce was in custody, she initially didn't speak. However, she eventually started talking a lot confessing to everything. She explained how she felt betrayed and talked about her belief that her boyfriend was cheating on her. She also admitted to the desperate things she did in an attempt to keep her boyfriend loyal to her. Joycel then claimed that Sarai had been abusive towards her for several months, claiming the victim began to mistreat her and beat her up. As for the gun she used, a 40 caliber Smith & Wesson, it was found near a walking trail thrown away as if Joyce wanted to get rid of the evidence of what she had done that day. Charged with first-degree murder and held without bail at the Turner Guilford Knight Correctional Center, Joyce faces a future clouded by bars and legal battles. The case was a poignant reminder of the destructive power of jealousy and betrayal, leaving a community to grapple with the consequences of a moment that turned deadly. In the aftermath, the Miami Gardens community was left to reflect on the tragic events, pondering the complexities of human relationships and the sometimes catastrophic results of their unraveling. Joyce's arrest and the recovery of the murder weapon closed the immediate chapter on a case that would continue to echo in the halls of the local courthouse and beyond. As this tragic story continues to unfold, our thoughts are with Saray's family and friends during this profoundly difficult time. We hope that they find some solace in the community's support and the memories they hold dear. May Sarai rest in peace and may justice be served swiftly and fairly. It's a stark reminder of how quickly situations can escalate and the devastating impact they can have on everyone involved. We stand in solidarity with all those affected as they navigate through this period of mourning and seek closure in the aftermath of such a heartbreaking event. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.